Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're doing amazing today. Just thought I would share another thought real quick for just a couple minutes again. Man, it's a beautiful day this morning here. I see some flowers coming up here in the low country, Georgia. It's kind of exciting, you know, kind of exciting. But anyway, I wanted to share with you, man, uh, just from, you know, learning to love, learning love. And, and uh, that again, coming from the aspect that even as he is, so are we in the world, right? And he is love. So we are love in this world, but we're learning to love and uh, we're learning to do things differently because we've been made a new creation. And therefore we have to begin to see things differently and allow God to take us through our process in order to be able to see things differently with an expectation that God is causing us to be right to be. So I wanted to share with you, you know, just I feel like one of the important things about learning to love and through first Corinthians chapter 13, and that is that it's always beautiful when you get to see God do something that when he's teaching you about something and you get to see a quick result. So maybe God's teaching you about love and you have something going on in a relationship or some place that God leads you to love someone and you see this immediate result and it's just like, yes, love is amazing. Love is powerful. Love is where it's at. But what happens when God begins to teach you that love endures long and is patient and kind, that love never fails? What happens when he begins to teach you that? When the power and the the, uh, the immediacy that you saw from the result of love is no longer immediate, but it's causing you to endure and to endure in love. So I just wanted to bring that up, man, just to mention it to you, because I think it's a beautiful thing that we learn to recognize where we are in the love process and what God is teaching us. If you've loved someone and you've seen amazing results quickly, but now God is working on teaching you that love endures. Oh, beloved, his love is overwhelming. His love is flowing to you right now to help you to endure. But we have to learn to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. We're learning how to do this in Jesus' name. Be blessed, y'all.